News in the air. State of Michigan is seeing an increase in some unusual wildlife. Yeah, Jamie Smith met with a large carniv uh, carnivore specialist from the DNR to learn more about the 14 cougars who've made an appearance across the state last year. So it's 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 been busy. Um, last year was the first or the most uh, reports we've ever confirmed in a year. A year full of cougar sightings. In 2020, we confirmed actually 14. Uh, cougar reports. All except one were spotted in the Upper Peninsula. It's the most in one year since the Michigan Department of Natural Resources started keeping track. You know, back before 2008, um, we had some reports coming into the department that looked, you know, some of them were kind of highly likely, looked like they might be, be cougar, cougar signs. Um, and, but we didn't have a really good way of documenting them or reviewing them. So, they started a cougar team, tracking all of the tips they get. And thanks to technology, it has gotten a lot easier over time. But now with trail cameras and everybody just having a, a cell phone in their pocket that can take pictures, um, we, it's making it a lot easier for us to document when, when these animals show up. Cougars are native to Michigan. Norton says they're the most widely distributed land mammal in the Western Hemisphere. But they're actually found in North America, Central and South America. Um, but they did used to be in a lot of the Eastern U.S. They, they disappeared from most of the Eastern U.S. by like the late 1800s. He says hunting and the change in ecosystem has contributed to the population change in the state. He adds there isn't any evidence of a breeding population in Michigan. They probably aren't because they'd be just setting up shop and living there for a long time and slowly moving over. It would have to be a long distance movement. Jamie Smet, Fox 